Hi Yoga Mums. So this is a little shoulder release sequence. Wonderful if you've been feeding bub or if you're just feeling tense all around the shoulders and, and around the neck. So start by finding your neutral spine and finding that sweet spot where your head is perfectly balanced on top of your neck. Let the base of your shoulder blades drop down so it's almost like you've got weights at the bottom of your shoulder blades and are heavy downwards and that'll help to lengthen shoulders away from ears. I like to just start any practice with a couple of big breaths in, holding that exhalation and then just releasing down. <sighs> Rolling those shoulders back and doing it again. <sighs> Good. Then try to imagine you've got a basketball in your hands, lift it up and push it into the basket so that you draw the base of the rib cage in. So you're activating transverse abdominal muscles. Drop the hands down and then roll your right shoulder up and just let it slide down into its socket and the left shoulder up and sliding it down into its socket. And then regaining that lovely equilibrium through the head, maybe pressing back through the ridge in your head as if you are hooking your head onto a hook on the wall behind you and then creating a length as if you're being winched up towards the ceiling through the crown of your head. To release your shoulders, take your arm out in front of you, draw it across the body, lock it into place with the other arm, drop shoulders away from ears, press out with this arm and pull in with this arm. So you get a lovely counter pressure just along here. And then I like to head over with my head over towards my fingertips and get a deep stretch in the neck as well. Using the Ujjayi breath, long, smooth, ocean-like breathing. Releasing the lower jaw, letting the tongue become heavy. Consciously creating a lovely stretch and a release through the neck, shoulder, into the jaw. Inhaling, stretching the arms out. So I take my middle fingers, push them back and then drop the arms down, keeping the base of the ribcage moving in as well. And then doing that on the other side. Pressing out, pulling in and then slowly taking the head over towards the fingers to increase that stretch into the neck. And you can stay here as long as you like. Taking the fingertips out. Try taking your thumbs up like that, keeping the shoulders right down away from your ears. See, not that, like that. And then doing little circles backwards. So now I'm squeezing into those rhomboids, the muscles between the shoulder blades. Those muscles hold your shoulders back, so prevent you from doing that the whole time. Keep your shoulders back. And after you've done about 10 like that, turn your thumbs in and roll them forward. So we're squeezing those shoulder blades and getting nice strong arms here. And then you might want to do a bit of cow stretching. So cow stretching, arm up, drop it behind you, draw the elbow as far back as you can, press the head into your elbow, take the other arm behind, maybe using a strap, grabbing onto your top. As the elbows come back, you drop the base of the rib cage in. Long, smooth breath here. Releasing the jaw. Staying there as long as you feel comfortable and then doing the same thing on the other side. Just making sure that you create space around your neck. You know, it'll squash it up like that. Good. And then big breath in. And up. Roll those shoulders. Try taking the hands on the shoulders, doing big elbow loops like this, one direction and then the other. And another nice one is the blade. So fingertips together, elbows high, squeeze those shoulder blades back and then release, squeeze back and then release. Squeezing and then release. Take the arm up towards the ceiling, stretch those ribs here, drop over. Take another breath in, stretch the fingertips up so you really flare the ribs and you get the intercostal muscles here, breathing almost gill-like Stretching that lung as if it's a balloon. Drop the shoulder down away from your ears and let your head be nice and heavy here. Nice and heavy head. Leaving your head where it is, stretch your arm out. So now I've got a deep stretch here in my neck. You want to turn your head to get that sweet spot. Keep breathing. Slowly drop the fingers down towards the ground. So I'm now I'm a deep, deep stretch here into that insertion point. Take the head into your other hand slowly bring it up good and then do the same thing on the other side so lengthening all the way up dropping over let your head be heavy drop the shoulder away from the ears get that length space start to draw your hand away from you 
find that sweet spot where you really get a deep, deep stretch, neck into shoulder here. Breathe into it. Take the head into your hand, slowly bring it up, and then turn the head side to side. And maybe taking a few very, very slow neck rolls. Bring it slowly. You want to feel like your head is a cannonball. It's so heavy. Good. And one more breath in. Hold this breath. Lift right up through your spine. And then. Good. Hopefully your shoulders feel a little bit more relaxed and released. Try to do this as often as you can to keep an openness through your chest and a dropping sensation so you've got space in your neck. Enjoy.